Hello and welcome to my 100 big perch challenge. I promise I won't give up until this challenge is done and dusted. And during three series of videos, I will cover plenty of perch fishing topics like presentation, location, lures, rigs, tips and tricks, and obviously very, very big perch banked. And the rules will be very, very simple ones. I will only count perch longer than 40 centimeters towards my 100 big perch goal. So it will be a good one. So please make sure you stick around and subscribe to my channel. And that's it guys. I'm done with my 100 big perch challenge. So this will be my last episode. And within this episode, I will cover five topics. One, I will talk about stats when it comes to catching those 100 big perch. Two, I will talk about the tackle really, really quickly. Three, I will cover research and development or R&D when it comes to catching those big fish. Four, I will show you some fishing because you want to see some fishing, don't you? And lastly, I will show you those remaining big perch which do count towards my challenge. I will begin by sharing some stats with you guys. So, it took me to catch those 100 big perch around eight to nine months. So last season and this season, when I say season, I'm talking about autumn or part of the autumn and winter here in the UK. Then I fished seven different rivers but caught big perch only from five of them. And two of them were really very, very important to get those, you know, consistent or those numbers going up consistently. And then I do not know how many kilometers I traveled to get to the spots and back. Really, it would be thousands and thousands, I would guess. And then when it comes to hours spent whilst fishing, again, I just do not know. Probably it will be thousands and thousands again. So, why I'm sharing those stats? Mainly because of, I heard some people there kind of saying things like that. He's fishing in kind of super spot in one river and, you know, catching big perch every day. Again, I do not care about that. I just know that it's a BS. So, and they shared those stats with you. And also I'm saying that to achieve what I achieved or something similar, you will always have to put a lot of effort. And this was the case to me exactly. As I said, I spent a lot of hours of fishing, a lot of hours of driving and spent quite a bit of money like and time whilst doing it as well. So yeah, those are the stats. When it comes to the tackle, I will try to make the section very, very short. So firstly, I will talk about the lures, which has been the most successful to me when it comes to catching those big perch. And really, those two patterns were really very, very good to me. This bigger one was very good in one river, and then the smaller one, like worm, was really killer lure in the other river. Let me quickly show you those lures. So that's about 10 centimeter lure spiky one, pedal tail, and that other one was smallish, around six centimeters in length, and yeah, and very interestingly, kinda, the smaller one wasn't working in that river where those bigger ones were, were working. It's very weird, but those bigger ones sometimes used to work kinda okay where those, like in general, where those smaller ones were the best. So what I'm trying to say here is that uh, it's very difficult to know what lures will work on a given water. So basically you will have to figure it for yourself and also it can change on the day as well. So yeah, that's lures. And now another bit I want to talk when it comes to the tackle this. So, uh, I'm not bothered about expensive tackle at all. For me, the tackle should be good enough for me to achieve the goal. And also, I can tell you a very, real quick a, a story. So, my mate was bragging to me pretty much. He said, I just purchased a spinning rod and reel and spent like thousand pounds on it. And also, 
pretty much in the same sentence he said but I can't go fishing because now I will have to do overtime because I spend all my money on that you know expensive rod and reel so I don't know whether it makes sense to you it does not for me at all if I want to go fishing I will go and grab my rod which I have I do not have to spend you know all my money on something and then worry about you know about it pretty much so for me when I'm going fishing and when I have like the goal so to catch let's say on a day two or three big perch and you know it's cold for example then let's say merino wool socks for me is much 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 more kind of important than expensive rod would be because it means that I will be comfortable I will be able to fish longer and really I will be able to wait for that moment for that right moment when the fish will start to feed and I will catch them and fish really do not care how you know expensive your rods or reels are yes super expensive rods are a little bit better than medium range but still on medium rods or medium priced rods you can catch them fish and enjoy or have like 95 uh, percent of enjoyment as you would have buying like really fishing tackle from the top shelf or the most expensive stuff so yeah just be smart guys about buying your tackle another topic i want to talk about is r&d or research and self-development by this i mean that i like to explore new waters and when i'm doing this and if i would find a good perch spot i would be able to return to that spot you know year after year after year and if i'm lucky i would be able to catch one or more big perch every single time and that's very very important to me and it should be important to you too and also it's very very important to learn new techniques if you are not good at top water fishing you know for perch in summer you should try it it's great fun and also it can be super effective you should try small lures big lures anything new you know that you know people are kind of using and catching but you but you are not so if you can kind of get a new technique into your armory you will be just much better angler and for me that's very very important also just checking if i haven't missed something no i believe i'm good and yeah guys now since i talked for a bit now let's do some fishing enjoy as you can see i'm going to do simple no outboards anything I want to finish simple Just one rod as well. Okay, this little bit looks like a good one to drop my anchor out. Okay, that's a perch and seems like might be correct size. I know. On the smallish side, not what, I'm not too sure was the another one following or I just saw something. I'll have to check it on camera because I saw something and it would be very unusual to follow. Like, you know, yes, it's clear water, but yeah, this one, this is how I want to hook them on this lure. Nice, proper. deep hook you know or deeply hooked fish come on mr perch damn it this one is a lot too short probably probably around 35 maybe yeah around 35 interestingly it took right under the boat here in open water pretty much good 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 not too sure probably it wasn't a fish but now it was felt the bite and everything feels like a good fish as well this might be what we need guys please stay on mr perch oh yeah oh yeah guys that's a that's a 45 centimeter i believe 
and that fish spat out a roach or whatever. That's a good one. That's a good one. Hey, don't go under the rope, Mr. Perch. That fish is fighting. Just look. That fish is not giving up. Yeah, that's easy. 45, guys. Ooh, maybe not, not easy, but somewhere there. And we'll just look at the colors on it. Actually, yeah, it is 45. Absolute tank, guys. Absolute tank. Might be, and quite fat. I won't be surprised if it will be like close to four. We'll measure him later. I might need to move a little bit just to chase those fish around slightly. Small fish, I believe, or maybe not. It's a perch. Ah, not a bad one, actually. Maybe not quite as 40, but close. Just look at those big perch in that clear water. The colors are just insane, guys, and them insane. Might be, actually, might be 40, guys. Again, nailed that lure. Okay, let's quickly measure you. I think it's all but short, guys. Yeah, it's probably around 39. Damn it. Quality fish, though. Thank you. Yeah, I guess let's, let's release those fish quickly. The ones which I'm not, you know, interested in. All quality perch. But that is a tank, guys. Let's quickly measure him before, you know, taking pictures and everything. Yeah, that's a 45 fish, guys. Even 46, maybe. If I squeeze the tail. Yeah, it's maybe 46, so it's like 3 pounds, probably 14, something like that. Very good perch. Awesome, okay, let's move a little bit now. Little bite, just take it. Nope. It's taking, just... <laughs> Small perch managed to grab big lure. <laughs> okay, that looks better. Looks much better. That might be what we came for, guys. Definitely a perch. Just is it big enough? No, damn it. It looked good, actually. It's like how it was fighting, you think it will be bigger, but no. Just look, they are eating the slur. Obviously, they would eat most of the lures, I guess, because, you know, I kind of found them in here. I hope you enjoyed the fishing, and now it's the time to show you that final set, which makes my 100. So yeah, enjoy those big fish, guys. Very, very quick one. A couple more perch, both at 43, 44 centimeters. Nice tanks, as you can see both of them so yeah uh, and they will be my number 84 and 85 so 15 to go as you can see quality brace of perch really really nice fish yeah let's go back I guess I have couple more of beasts in my bag uh, conditions are not really great but I'm out fishing it's raining drizzling How about that exactly 40 centimeters this one quality river fish though yeah but that's a small one <laughs> and check this one out 45 centimeter beast river beast <laughs> 
yeah and those two will make me or my count on 87 so yeah and this one will be like three pound an ounce that's more or less nice chunky fish as you can see quite angry one took a big lure as well yeah 13 more to go how about that so yeah we'll grab a quick snap before letting those beauties go result guys another tank in my challenge 43 and a half centimeters not quite 44 but yeah absolute tank very big a hump on him as you can see probably it will be three pounds even for even so for the length it should be very high twos but probably it will be just low threes i guess mint fish as well just check him out massive dorsal fin just huge yeah result guys so i'm on 88 at the moment and someone is calling me probably to congratulate on that big perch i will slip that fish back and pick up that phone i guess okay first 40 of 2023 and this one is absolute tank just look like almost like a bream this perch is i mean very very tall just just a chunky very chunky fish probably 1.2 kilo something like that even though it's only like exactly 40 centimeters yeah super happy to you know to open my year with this tank and this one will be my number 89 so 11 to go kind of feel that this pair just might do it for you guys no she's not sure <laughs> yeah happy days with this one awesome fish really really happy with this one okay let's chuck it back and hopefully we'll get another one before it will get too dark tank alert by number 90 41 centimeter beast <laughs> awesome fish really very good shape as well yeah 10 more to go towards my challenge and that's it guys happy days let's go back okay guys number 91 again i will try to keep this little bit very short because there might be more so yeah uh, 41 centimeter beast very very cold this morning but yeah they're feeding awesome let's go back my number 92 just 40 centimeters just touching you know with a with a tail once once i squeeze it down actually it was exactly 40 so yeah happy days Whew. eight more fish to go <laughs> this one was very very lucky you know they say just 40 mint fish though yeah happy days we'll chuck her back now awesome unless she will do it for you come on yeah lift your dorsal fin honey no almost look she's doing it almost it might help her a little bit and no she's not she's not doing anyway cool fish how about that i have a quality triplet free perch over 40 centimeters well actually two of them are exactly 40 and one is like 40 and a half to 41 somewhere yeah quality so these ones uh, will be 93 94 95 so five more to go this one is a little bit short 39 centimeters beast so does not count as i say and then some even smaller ones which are quality fish but they do not count and then two which do count one is absolute tank 45 centimeters probably i would say like quite feisty fish i would say like three pounds and 10 ounces something like that so 1.5 kilos more or less tank and this one will be my number uh 96 i believe so yeah happy with that goes back and then another around three uh, pound fish which is uh, 43 centimeters just very very fat as you can see chunky so and quite tall as well so yeah i would give her like three pounds maybe 
if not then it will be like you know uh, very high tooth like 1.3 kilos plus more or less so yeah uh, number 97 three more to go guys let's go back okay are you ready for this check this out 46 centimeters I took a weight, uh, a weight of it I'm thinking it will be more but it's only 1.6 kilos exactly I don't know three pounds and 10 11 something not too short maybe less uh, yeah tank and 98 in my challenge very nice fish yeah good colors on him as well okay guys here it is my number 99 at 43 centimeter river beast really what a fight this one put together that was ridiculous mint fish as well so yeah one more to go guys one more fish absolute monster guys absolute monster yeah let's go back you beauty 99 100 ready or not how about that that is a tank guys that is a tank yeah it's been a long challenge it took me a seven or eight months can't remember yeah result happy with this tank absolutely happy so yeah let's go back before taking a few shots before i say goodbye let me thank you for all the support and for watching my videos it really means a lot thank you but that's it see you in the next one